All right, so I'm doing my damnedest to slog through Star Trek Discovery. I'm now at episode eight of season four. It has literally taken me weeks to get from episode six to episode eight because I'll start watching and it's so boring and I'll just end up doing something else and then I'll go back to it. So it's been literally like two five-minute increments for me to carry on with this awful fucking program. But I want to qualify it with examples because I just watched a scene right now in which Hugh, who is the partner of Paul Stamets, absolutely explodes in his quarters. He's ferociously cleaning the, the quarters that they share. Uh, and it's completely forced and it's totally artificial. And, um, I mean, they've, they've got fucking cleaning robots on Discovery. So why would you need to clean shit and spot clean yourself but the only reason this scene exists and 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 the poor guy who plays Hugh just is clearly directed badly to overact and say I'm just cleaning because I'm stressed and I'm just like what this is this is all this this moment only exists for Paul Stamets to look good and for him to assert authority and for him to show that he's caring and it's just such an artificial character relationship, an artificial character relationship of a gay couple who should be portrayed uh, as three-dimensional. Um, and and, and it, it just comes across as so terribly stilted because you don't believe the motivations here. When you start examining the logic behind the story, it doesn't fucking work. And I do want to also talk about Adira and Gray, the two non-binary characters on Discovery. Like, I am very pro-LGBTQIA inclusion, but these characters don't have anything to, to contribute other than uh, completely fucking artificial exuberance and excitement. But they're just so stilted, and even though these actors are clearly bringing energy to this particular these particular roles we can't believe them and 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 if anything it's more off-putting because they haven't thought about the motivations behind why these two are together they haven't thought about like what uh longings that these two characters have adira and gray um i mean you know you're dealing with 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 a situation that is just so one-dimensional I am so sick to death of people including LGBTQIA characters, which is great, great in fucking theory, but if they're not as real as cis hetero characters, then it's pointless. It's pointless. Uh, it's it, you know I'm working on a script right now that involves uh, it involves a love story between a trans woman and a bisexual man. And I've really tried to get into the nitty gritty of why these two characters are, are who they are. I, I I show them in action. I reveal backstory. And Discovery is completely incapable of this. Instead, it resorts to these stilted, cliched, one-dimensional character situations. And it's an insult to the LGBTQIA community to write characters who are this thin, who are this banal who are this uh, pressured into really stilted situations. I, it's it's really, I, I just don't understand why this fucking show exists other than to be a, a franchise uh, offering that you just watch while you're folding laundry. I, and that's not what art should do. It needs to rise to the level of true character dimension. It is an insult to the very community you were trying to serve to present characters who are this fucking paper thin. You know, I, it's, it's, it really is fucking pissing me off.